next contest that is scheduled for one fall. All right, let's see what we got coming out right now. Trash man! Trash man! Trash man! Trash man! Mr. Rossi had to go make an appearance somewhere, so you got me. Hey, here we go. Alessandro Russo. If anybody ever saw his interview that was on Facebook, the story behind how he got involved in wrestling, it's fantastic. It's like watching a documentary. So yes, believe it or not, he's got my respect. He's going to be going against Vinny Abruzzi. So this is going to be a tough, tough match to call, but hey, me and Bobby Rossi are going to do our best to do what we do. We both talk a lot. All the way from Boston, Massachusetts. Mr. Russo. Oh, here we go. We all know what that chant is for. Mr. Vinny Abruzzi making his way in. Bobby, welcome back, Bobby. Bobby had to take care of some business. I give him his first. But the Saturday night. Here's the thing about Vinny. He is the greatest smelling man in all of professional wrestling. Really? I don't know how he does it. He comes out of the match smelling delicious. Me, I don't know how. I walk to the ring, I smell like death. I don't know. Bobby, hold on. No, you smell good right now, pal. No, I doubled up on the degree. Okay. It's a, little, it's a little muggy today. It's a rough one, out, boy. Oh, God. This is going to be an even rougher one for Alessandro Russo. I actually like Russo for some weird reason that I can't explain. I mean, you know, fellow Paisan, I get it. I understand. I'm telling you, he did a nice interview, a documentary on Facebook that I was really impressed. So I give him credit for that. Whether he was telling the truth or not, I don't know. Well, he learned English pretty quick. I'll give him that. Yep. <laughs> he's definitely not a crowd favorite. And he's, he's preoccupied with, them, with what they think. He's going up against a former five-time triple wow. crown champion right now. He's got to be focused. Oh Too busy worrying about the crowd. You're right, Bobby. Bobby, you're absolutely right. Showing a lot of veracity right now. Muscle and Vinny in the corner. Keeping him off his feet. Looks like he's got a sentiment for a suplex attempt. And he doesn't. I couldn't do that. And a textbook even. Oh, he's getting mad now. Oh! oh. Referee's a little lenient on those closed hands, in my opinion. I would think so. Well, coming from Boston, that's what usually happens. <laughs> you know? What's he got in mind here? Oh, right on his knee. Dropped him right on his knee. That's a sound strategy. You take out a man's wheel, he ain't gonna be able to fight. Nope, you can't. It's cheap, it's smug, and it's dirty. Just like Russo. I was just, you just took the words out of my mouth. Just like Mr. Russo will call him. Right on the knee, he's working the knee. He's really working it over, all right. He's really focused on that left leg of his now. Vincenzo Bruzzi, he's gonna have to re-strategize. And the crowd's behind Vinny, 100%. What's he got in mind? Whoa, look at this. Right. He's got him grapevine around the post. Oh, come on, don't do it. Right on that post. Right on that metal steel post. Russo, you suck! Four. Say what you will about the guy. This, I hate to say it, but I think this mean streak of his is really starting to pay off. 
He's got himself a good win and loss record for 2002. He's just so goddamn full of himself. Hey, but I gotta give him credit. He is tough. He's a tough individual. Here we go. If Vinny's coming up. Oh! Ooh. Right by the beard, he gets his face spiked into the canvas. Just when you thought he had a nice offense going. I mean, this, that's the thing about Russo. He's not extremely technical. This guy's a brawler. Oh, big time. That's what he brings to the dance. Oh! Beautifully done out, out of sheer instinct. A bruising hits Russo with a textbook power slam. That was perfect. Perfect. He, he just needs to get up. Come on, Vinny. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being biased. Well, hey, you know. <laughs> Being a special guest commentator, you get that privilege. I appreciate that. Thank Absolutely. you, sir. Absolutely. Again, it's a privilege to be here with you. It's a kind. Nothing oh. kind about that. Oh, oh, no. Swing and a miss by Russo. Vincenzo capitalizes. Big pump kick. A boot of Italy finds its mark. Come on, Vinny. Get up, Vinny. Not so quick till they get to the pin. Deep hook of the leg. Just the two count. Not enough pressure up there. Nope. It's the small things that make the biggest amount of difference. Oh, you're right. He's favoring that knee. He's fighting through it. That's, that's the heart of a champion right there. Oh, look. He's going for that patented... He's going for the patented headshot. What's this? No! Uh-oh. Here we go, Bob. It's, it's going to be no living with this guy. It really isn't. I guess we got to listen to see what's on his mind. But... <sighs> Maybe he'll say something nice about us. Doubtful. <laughs> messages is you never know who they're going to reach. So I've got a message of my own for Alessandro Russo. The last time we met, you beat me. Congratulations. Perhaps I was overlooking you. Perhaps I didn't take you seriously. Well, now you have my complete and undivided attention. And if you bear with me one more moment, I'm going to explain exactly why that should terrify you. You managed to do something that no man in the past seven years, seven years, has been able to do in the RWA. You managed to stir something deep within my soul. Something that I swallowed and buried deep and kept at bay. Hell, I didn't even thought it existed anymore. But you... You come along, and you had to go poke the beast. The last time that part of me existed, a reign of terror was unleashed upon the RWA that has not yet been duplicated since. Back then, that part of me wanted to burn the RWA to its foundation. But now, no. I don't want to do that. No. Oh. That part of me now wants to baptize the unworthy in blood and fear. And the next time you see me, Mr. Russo, I'm going to introduce you to him. 
And whether you choose to believe it, whether you choose to respect it, or whether you like it or not, you are now in his reality. <laughs>